Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? We back for another Yu Gi Oh! Duel review. Let's check out some replays here. So, we'll be reviewing these two games. I think these are still with the event, and this one is uh, a rank duel. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying I think it's the case when it actually says here exhibition versus rank duel. So, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. I, I never noticed that. What the hell? Alright. Let's see what we got here. Mm, this is a good hand. This is a good hand. You could break boards with the Time Lord. Okay. Not surprising. We're facing adventure again. Uh, do we win more games than not versus adventure? Yeah, we, we, we do. We do win more. I think our win rate is like, I don't know, 60 or 70. Around that. Generators. This is going to be hard. This is a hard matchup for us. Even though we, we, we do have the skills to like pilot it. And our deck is designed to take on uh, potential multiple negates. As you can see here, he has... Two Omni Negates with the Generator as well as the Griffon. So our play here is to attack the Generator. Actually, we could attack the Griffon as well. Maybe the Griffon would have been the better play because they normally run just one. So what do we do here? Yep, we attack the Griffon. Okay, so that was a smart play from me. He offers to negate, which is fine. He doesn't take the 2000. We set 5 and pass. Uh, he activates that card. We're able to pop it. Take 2,000. Activates the adventure. Searches this water lady, which apparently searches another adventure card. Yep. Amorite. Was it the Amorite? Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? Uh, why, I don't know why I keep calling it Amorite, but it's Aramesir. Aramesir. Okay, so we do summon Zoma, which is good. We can't, we can't even attack because it's in defense position. It kind of sucks. We summon a secondary Zoma, and this is where we make plays. We make plays, boys. Yep, summoning your shit. Uh, unfortunately, Sandayan goes back to the deck. We make them attack position. Now he is forced to attack. Uh, fortunate for us, he was able to he banish the huge revolution and not the judgment. I wonder if we use judgment. We could use judgment now. Yep, do we use it? Oh, wow, he negates. I did not expect that. I guess it makes sense. We, we, we would have gotten like, I, I don't know, maybe two, three cards. So, yep, he attacks. We take, we deal 2,000. And then we can just attack again. Yep. Summon the generator. Yep. We just attack one of these, I guess. Do we attack one of these? Yep. We attack one of those. And he banishes us. That sucks. Um, we're really down on resources. As you can see, three cards. Um, we take the 2-2. Two -two, we activate. Return the 2-2. Two -two. Uh, he tries to destroy Secret Barrel. We actually chain and then win. So we could have just activated Secret Barrel first, but I thought maybe uh, one of the cards had like a, like a negate there. Yep. Okay. Check out the next game. So that was Adventure Generators. I think generators is the the tough part about generators is if you don't draw the field spell you kind of do nothing but the adventure engine does really help it a lot so it's probably a decent rogue deck these days mm -hmm. set four pass aram is here I, I should really start using decks with uh, these cards just so that I can feel the power you know sometimes sometimes you want to win with less effort right we're kind of playing games the hard way we're not using this uh, 
extremely abusable cards. Uh, he destroys our two cards, but we are able to take or deal 1,000 with the graveyard effect of Secret Blast. Um, definitely, if you look at the game uh, game state at this position, he's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 versus 3. 6 cards versus 3. And the life points are kind of identical. So I'd rather be in his position than mine. Not to mention our Time Lord will be returning. So yeah. Uh, and then he summons the Omni. Yep. And then another card. What is this? Is this Hero? Oh, Hero. Okay. Hero Adventure. Interesting. Okay, we go for the cylinder. He does not negate. Interesting. And that's what he negates. Okay. He negates. So we take 3 6. Okay, so we just need. For us to win, we just need to draw a card that can do 1000. We probably draw something like Secret Blast, to be honest. That's probably what happens here. I'm pretty confident we draw Secret Blast. <laughs> Uh, but let's see. Oh no, Kaiju. Okay, okay. So I guess we just attack. Deal 1000. And then we... We hope we don't lose this turn. We probably don't, actually. It's gonna be hard. Yep. You summon another Watermon. Or search for it. Activate the effect. Banish it into... I'm a I'm a here. There, I finally got it. A Ramis here. Get the token in defense position. Get the Griffon in defense position and turn. Um, so yeah, is this the turn we get secret secret blast? Yep. Okay, so it's GG at this point. Uh, we just need to offer it for the Kaiju so there's no Omni negate, and then we can just pop the secret blast. GG. Perfect, perfect, perfect gaming from us. Alright, and that's gonna be the video. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!